multinomial regression extends logistic regression to handle outcomes with more than two categories. Logistic regression is used for binary outcomes like yes and no or one and zero, where by means two. Multinomial regression works similarly but for multiple categories such as low, medium and high. Instead of asking is the outcome yes more likely than no, as in logistic regression, multinomial regression asks is this category more likely than all others. For example, with three categories, the model creates three separate logistic regressions, but multinomial regression can do much more. So let's see how this works by coding it in R. Today we are exploring a cool dataset from the University of California to see what factors shape people's socioeconomic status, which comes in three categories, low, middle and high. To prove that the multinomial model is just a set of logistic regressions working together, we'll dummify our socioeconomic status variable. Dummification simply means turning each category, low, middle and high, into its own column. For example, in the low socioeconomic status column, we'll put a 1 for low socioeconomic status and a 0 for middle or high. Then, in the middle socioeconomic status column, we'll put a 1 for middle status and a 0 for low and high. Same idea for the high socioeconomic status column. Pretty straightforward, right? To show that our three logistic regressions and a single multinomial regression produce identical results, we'll need a predictor. Let's use study program, which, like socioeconomic status, has three categories. We'll first visualize the data to confirm our damnification worked correctly and there are no errors. For example, vocational categories 12, 31 and 7 now appear as separate columns. And then we'll build four different models and place all their predictions side by side on a graph using one of my favorite visualization packages, SJPlot. When we do this, you'll see something pretty cool. The three separate logistic regressions actually give us the same result as a single multinomial regression. But just seeing it isn't enough, right? We need to prove the numbers are identical. To do that, we'll compare the probabilities and the odds ratios next. For that, we are going to use one of my favorite tools, the immense function from the immense package. We'll apply it to both the multinomial regression model and the logistic regression for high socioeconomic status. First, we'll check the predicted probabilities from both models and see they match exactly. Then, we'll compare odds ratios and the p-values, just to make sure everything lines up perfectly. For instance, both the logistic regression for high socioeconomic status and the multinomial model found that people in the academic program have about four times or roughly 300% higher odds of ending up in the high socioeconomic status group compared to those from the vocational program. And that result is statistically significant. Now, I hope you can clearly see the multinomial model is basically just a bunch of logistic regressions run together. But we're just scratching the surface. The next thing I'm going to show you will blow your mind. But before we continue to much more exciting stuff, you need to know about a couple of pitfalls to avoid. To get accurate results, you'll want to follow our code example closely. If you just run a quick means on the multinomial model, you'll see the same probabilities as the logistic regression, but you won't get the odds ratios. Also, if you don't set the degrees of freedom to infinity, you might get magic odds ratios, but different p-values compared to logistic regression. So stick with our code example and always double check these details when comparing models. Alright, now you might be thinking, if a multinomial regression is just several logistic regressions stuck together, why do we need it at all? Honestly, I wondered the same thing. The truth is, in many cases, you don't need multinomial model. Logistic regressions are simpler and easier to interpret. So, if possible, just use separate logistic regressions instead. But here is the catch. When you have lots of categories, running hundreds of logistic regressions 
can quickly become overwhelming and chaotic. That's where the multinomial model shines with three key advantages. First, it gives you a clear overview of your data, especially when you have multiple predictors in a multivariable, multinomial model, which we'll build in a moment. Second, it lets you compare outcome categories like low, middle, and high socioeconomic status directly against each other. For example, by swapping the outcome and predictor in the means function, you can calculate odds ratios for the social economic status categories themselves. That's something three separate logistic regressions cannot do. Pretty useful, right? And if you find this video useful so far, consider liking it or joining the channel. It really motivates me to produce more useful content for you. The third cool thing about multinomial regression is its flexibility for plotting. With it, we can visualize our data in different ways to make comparisons easier. For example, we can create a single subplot for each study program, showing all categories, low, middle, and high, side by side, to compare social statuses within each program. Or we can put everything on one plot and use a legend to highlight either the social statuses or the programs. Now, while categorical predictors are straightforward, how does multinomial regression handle numeric predictors? I'm glad you asked. Let's use math knowledge as an example to see how a numeric predictor, like math scores, might affect future socioeconomic status. When we plot the effect of math scores on socioeconomic status, we'll see a clear pattern. Higher math scores in school are linked to a low probability of having low socioeconomic status and to a high probability of having high socioeconomic status. But are these trends statistically significant? We can see that by using the M trends function, which returns a slope of our trend and a p value. Namely, as math scores increase, the probability of low socioeconomic status drops significantly, while the probability of high socioeconomic status rises significantly. That makes sense, right? Strong math skills often open doors to better opportunities. But I'll be interested to know your thoughts. However, the challenge with these slopes is that they can't be directly interpreted as odds ratios, since odds ratios aren't linear. But there is a simple solution. Instead of focusing on trends, we can compare specific math scores, like 40 and 70. By using the at argument in the means function, we can treat these scores like categories and plug in any values we want. For example, with a math score of 70, you are 5.7 times more likely to achieve high socioeconomic status with a huge bank account. Your only worry then might be deciding how to invest all that money. And that's where the sponsor of today's video steps in. Ever wondered how to invest like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger? Stock Unlock is the best place to start mastering long-term value investing. With over 170,000 stocks and ETFs, more than 35 years of financial data, and over 100 valuation metrics, Stock Unlock gives you unparalleled insights into the market. Their visualization tools simplify complex data, helping you to spot opportunities and risks instantly. Even a single number, the inside score, which is actually the main reason people stay with Stock Unlock, will make you a better investor in seconds. The inside score adapts metrics to different industries, from banks to tech companies. It's a game changer for identifying great investment opportunities instantly and avoiding potential pitfalls something I personally fell into before discovering Stock Unlock. Want to learn more? Use the Learn button to explore detailed, yet short and clear explanations of any investment metrics you are interested in. Or check out the creator's YouTube channels to get to know exactly who is behind Stock Unlock. Since joining Stock Unlock, I've learned more in months than in years of self-study. And that's why I partnered with them. Best of all, you can start with one free month of full functionality, and if you're ready to commit, use my exclusive affiliate link below to get 10% of your first year. Modeling interactions in multinomial regression is straightforward and valuable. 
For example, when we add gender to our model, we see that socioeconomic status is generally similar for both genders. However, there is one notable difference. Female academics are 3.75 times more likely to have low socioeconomic status compared to male academics. And this result is statistically significant. Here is a useful tip. If odds ratios greater than 1 are easier to understand for you, you can use the ref pairwise command in the imminence package to flip the comparison, ensuring all odds ratios are above 1. Finally, when building a multinomial model with multiple predictors, a key question is which predictors should we include? There are several methods to choose them, but I prefer the GLMulti package in R. For our dataset with 10 predictors, GLMulti tests all possible combinations of predictors, generating 1024 models. It then compares them, identifies the most important predictors, and, best of all, tells you which models perform best, based on their archaic information criterions. In our case, GLMulti finds three top models with similar AIC values. We can review these and choose one, confident that they are all strong options. For example, let's take the second model and visualize all its predictions at once using the familiar GG effect and plot grid functions. This plot tells a fascinating story. First, 4 out of 10 predictors weren't important for socioeconomic status. Namely, your math skills, which was important in the univariable model, or awards you've earned, don't seem to matter in the multivariable model. Attending a private school lowers your chance of ending up with a low socioeconomic status and boosts your likelihood of becoming middle class. But, surprisingly, it doesn't increase your odds of reaching high socioeconomic status. Other factors like family background might play a bigger role. If you want a solid shot at middle class status, a vocational study program is the way to go. But if you are aiming for high socioeconomic status, an academic degree gives you better odds. High writing skills, interestingly, reduce your chances of achieving high socioeconomic status. As we often see, writers tend to earn less and aren't as respected in society as lawyers or bankers. So multinomial regression is incredibly powerful because it handles multiple outcome categories and delivers tons of results, making it a game changer for complex data. Especially when we use GLMulti algorithm to discover the most influential predictors and find the best model. Even better, the GLMulti package works for logistic regression, linear regression, and other models too. So if you want to figure out which predictors matter most for your outcome variable, check out my deep dive video on using the GLMulti algorithm to supercharge any model.